Hello everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock. As you can see from the title, today's video will be an overview of Jet Engine 3.4. I will walk you through the main updates and features as we prepared some cool stuff for you. If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn the notifications on. And with no further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with REST API, query result and easy query filtering. We've added the ability to register the output of any query result in the WordPress REST API. This means you can create a public URL through which you can get the results of any query from a given website in any other place. Using Query Builder and this feature, you can turn a website into a builder of custom REST API endpoints. And now let's take a look at the available options. The first option allows you to enable or disable endpoint registration for a given query. The second one is a namespace which is the first segment of a custom endpoint URL after the core wp.json prefix. Endpoint path is the second segment of a custom endpoint URL after the core prefix. In WordPress, these two options are split for users to be able to register several paths within one namespace. To preserve the same ability, we left two options here as well. These are required options. Without any of them, the endpoint will not be registered. Now, as for the rest ones. REST API Endpoint URL is a generated URL of the API endpoint. A restrict access defines the access levels for this particular endpoint. It can be public, so the access is not restricted, and restricted by role or user capability. If access to the endpoint is restricted, it is necessary to pass authorization parameters via the request for instance, through application passwords. If access to the endpoint is restricted by user capability in this field, you needed to indicate by which capabilities to grant access. You can specify multiple capabilities, separating them with commas. A user will gain access to the endpoint if they have at least one of the listed capabilities. If access to the endpoint is restricted by roles, in this field, you needed to specify which role will be able to access it. A user will gain access if they have at least one of the listed roles. Both in the case of restriction by roles and capabilities, there is one important thing to be noted. If the corresponding restriction is set but roles or capabilities are not configured, any user will get access meaning the endpoint will be closed from public access but it will be possible to gain access to it by sending any user type via the request. These are query arguments for the REST API. And this part of the settings is one of the highest complexity. At this stage, you can only configure the arguments which the endpoint will process and give them default values if they are missing. But to apply them directly to obtain the query results, you needed to use a macro or dynamic parameter called query variable in the settings of that particular query. Using query variable, you can map any given parameter in the query settings to the query argument from the REST API. As for the easy query filtering, we added the ability to search filter, and sort the previously created queries on the queries list page. With the 3.4 plugins version, you will get interactive tutorials developed to guide you through using Jet Engine like a pro. Interactive tutorials are regular text tutorials visually broken down into steps and built into the website's admin area. 
each tutorial will accompany the user through all pages of their site's admin panel until the user pauses the tutorial or completes it. What makes these tutorials interactive is that they can interact with the user's website in a limited way. For example, install plugins, activate the needed modules, change the values of options, and take the user to the necessary pages in the admin panel. For starters, we will have a limited set of tutorials only for Jet Engine. In the future, we will add more plugins and more cases. Tutorials are added through the corresponding API on our end, so users will be receiving them as they arrive without updating plugins. So, following any of these links will take you to a page containing all interactive tutorials. From this page, you can start a new tutorial or resume the paused one. There will be additional settings to the preload functionality in the meta field selection pop up in the new plugins version. From now on, in the first step, it is possible to select the custom field provider between Jet Engine and any other option. For the second option, you needed to specify what these custom fields are for posts, terms, or users and then provide the field name. Similarly to the Jet Engine scenario, if the address is received portion-wise from several fields, you needed to specify all of such fields, combining them via the plus sign. Time Picker in the Advanced Date field settings will allow you to set time after the main date and after the end date, giving you more control over your time-related data. The format for saving data in the database remains the same. The date is saved as a single field in the timestamp format. When there is time available, it is stored in the timestamp. Another new option in the Advanced Date field settings is the Recurrency format. This option determines how the field's UI will be displayed. So there are two available options. Recurrence rule. Just as it was before, the recurrence of dates is configured according to certain rules displayed in the interface. And the second option allows the user manually set the dates when the event is repeated. For this option, it is only possible to set the start date and time and the end date and time. It is impossible to further adjust recurrence rules for certain dates because of the processing logic. It will be too complex. As for the CCT compatibility with Bricks Dynamic Tokens, there is a Fields tab in your CCT. All meta fields you add there will be registered as dynamic tags. They will appear on the general list of all Bricks dynamic tags, and for every CCT a separate group is created. Here is an example of a group name Jet Engine CCT article, where article is the CCT name. And that's why you can find it quickly using this search feature. The selected tag will be displayed just like the default dynamic tags of Bricks. And on the front end, the value of the given meta field will be displayed. We have added a new option called Icon Library for the Icon Picker field. By default, only the following libraries are available Font Awesome 4 and Dash Icons. If you have Elementor installed, then you will see Font Awesome 5 on the list of libraries as well as custom icon libraries added by the user. From now on, it is possible to select a different library of icons for the icon picker field or add several icon pickers with different libraries. For previously created icons, the Phantasm 4 library is set as default. A new data store type called user IP allows you to create a store of liked posts based on the user's IP. For the given data store, a separate table is created where the following data are stored – store ID, store item, and the user IP. 
a user IP saved in the format of hash for security purposes. Profile Builder just got even more powerful with an expanded sources list for templates. Now templates from Bricks will appear in the search results and can be used as pages for Profile Builder. For more convenience, search results will now display the template type. Moreover, we also added the ability to create a new template of the needed type right from the Profile Builder settings page. When creating a template, you must specify its name and type, a listing item, element or template, or bricks. And also, for the listing option, you can set the listing view. And these were all the main updates and features of Jet Engine 3.4. What was the most exciting part for you? Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, smash that like button if you enjoyed this overview. And as always, make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.